Hello everyone, uh, this is Hamad. Uh, Today in this video we have the Osram halogen bulbs. That's the night hyper. And these are the H4 actually. And these are the 55 to 60 watt. Right, so uh, and in the comparison we have the Osram LEDs. Uh, these are actually the 27 volt LEDs. 12 volt, uh, sorry, 27 watt LEDs, 12 volt and these are all also h4 so <clears throat> the purpose of this video is to show you the uh, light uh, lux comparison for the uh, for both uh, uh, both type of lights here and also we will all uh, compare how many watts uh, or current they, they are taking on, on the fixed voltages so these are a little electrical characteristic comparison actually so uh, let's see so this is the uh, Osram Night Hyper bulb I have here. This is the H4 connector actually. And for the H4 connector, if we see uh, this connector in this angle, uh, that one on the right side is the common ground. And the upper one is for the low beam. And that on the left side, that's for the high beam. So we will compare only the high beam. Uh, will not go or cover the low beam actually here. So, and here you can see uh, we have the lux meter or the application uh, on, on the mobile app. So, I, I know that uh, it does not give you the accurate lux reading, but still it's perfect for the comparison purpose only. Okay, so let's start with this and uh, this is our power supply uh, which can show the uh, current rating as well and we we will be fixing it on the 12.4 volt right so let's start with that okay so if we see here i'm gonna connect it let me turn it off first okay so that's our ground and this is our high beam so <clears throat> uh, as we know that <clears throat> the halogen bulbs are uh, highly inefficient uh, in electrical characteristics uh, they produce a lot of heat so that's why i cannot hold it by hand so I, I will be holding it by this but for the leds i hope we can hold it in, in hands for, for some for some time so let's start it it's set for the maximum current actually <clears throat> okay so you can see uh, the current rating uh, goes to the 5 ampere something so that's actually something about the 60 watt so uh, let, let's compare the lux rating now uh, for that person I'm, I'm gonna turn off the lights actually so the other lights as well you will see some dark for some time actually so let's start with the zero lux here so I'm gonna turn it on now okay so let's focus on the reading so i'm gonna rotate it in some angles so that it co covers all the possible angles because i see the uh, the ratings changes with the angles so okay so that's our our, our halogen bulb so uh, we can also see the maximum re uh, reading covered by by the for now that's something about 700 lux so let's keep that record and start our led part now so i'm gonna turn the light on for now okay so for the leds here we have the leds let's open it <clears throat> these are the osram leds uh, from from china actually so also having the H4 connector here so the the pin mapping remains same so I can hold it it also have a exhaust fan on, on the other side to dissipate the heat so let's start with that now okay so I'm gonna connect the positive side here okay just a moment and here's our positive side okay so let's start it
okay so i'm going to turn the light off now so here's only the led okay, so you can see for the led the lux rating touches to 7 1700 actually uh, it can touch 2000 as well at some angle uh, i'm keeping the distance same from from the mobile uh, as we had with the halogen bulb okay so we can also see the current rating here that's only 1.8 um, ampere uh, that's not even uh, 24 volt for now uh, the leds can give 27 watt maximum uh, with time or and when, when the heat arise uh, the watt rating will increase but the maximum will be 27 volt so that's how we can see uh, the comparison between these uh, two, te uh, two technologies, the halogen and the LEDs. Thank you.